One of the most successful groups of African tribes is the Bantu, a group of related black people who speak a number of related languages. Nearly all Bantu languages employ the word Bantu in a variety of ways, which loosely translates to people. Greetings and thank you for visiting Afortista Films, the internet's premier resource for eye-opening mini-documentaries with an African focus. The following are 10 incredible facts about the Bantu people. Hello. One, curvy ladies. Bantu women's extremely endowed, curvaceous bodies are one of their most defining characteristics. Bantu women are renowned for their sculpted bodies, exquisite curves, and stunning facial structure. Natural selection, according to scientists, is responsible for this evolutionary trait. Two, uniquely linked languages. There are about 3,000 Bantu languages, the bulk of which are mutually intelligible to varied degrees. The majority are agglutinative, meaning they blend number, tense, case, gender, and aspect into single words. Bantu languages are likewise very melodic and simple to comprehend. Here is a sample of a few Bantu languages. <laughs> Grace ni rafiki yangu amekuja tu hapa kwa muda akipata nyumba ataondoka. Yes. Ori. Oh, Ndio mlamu. Si bwana nganga asimani chichole. Anashinga ulile la ngoma tambuti. Ni si minister of food security munzuna. Koshi yeye unga kwa nzala. Eh mbuli ni lolo lolo maimbaro ulikuwa na nzala kidogo. Ubulanga full stop time madam. Andika nkuire. Ona nyombe we na rukomo no tumborara. Nokuiza. Ita <laughs> Three, expansionist. Today, the Bantu people inhabit the majority of Central, Western, Eastern, and Southern Africa. Yet only a few hundred years ago, they were a small community of Cameroonian bush dwellers. How did they nearly conquer all of Africa? Simple, they created superior iron weaponry, flourished as farmers, and were always on the road, assimilating any populations they came across. The Bantu also had the benefit of the force of mobility that pushed indigenous people from their territory or incorporated them into Bantu culture. <laughs> Four, diverse people. 
Due to their expansionist propensity, the Bantu absorbed and assimilated the many proto-populations they encountered. Many Bantu tribes in East Africa assimilated various hunter-gatherer and Cushitic groups, which explains why Bantu from nearly the entirety of Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, and parts of Tanzania appeared dissimilar from other Bantu. The Tutsi and Kikuyu, for instance, are believed to have substantial Nilotic and Cushitic admixture. The Kosa, a Bantu people of Southern Africa, have a substantial Khoisan genetic component. This means that the Bantu have a broad variety of phenotypes, including varied complexions, height, facial features, and other traits. The Swahili people from Kenyan coast are another mixed Bantu population whose descendants are Bantu and Arab. Five, the largest black population. The Bantus are the largest ethnic group in Africa. They were estimated to number around 350 million by the midpoint of the 2010s, constituting roughly 30% of Africa's overall population and 5% of the global population. Bantu languages are extensively spoken in the southeast of Cameroon, as well as in the central, southeast, and southern regions of Africa. Six, disseminated ironworking technology. The Bantu expansion spread ironworking technology to eastern and southern Africa from around 500 BCE to 400 CE, as evidenced by the Lake Victoria region's Uru culture. They were renowned for their blacksmithing skills, which contributed to their quick expansion. Seven, strong empires. The Bantu were responsible for one of the greatest empires in the world, the Great Zimbabwe, an astonishing array of stacked boulders, stone towers, and granite block defensive walls, is one of the most spectacular structures in sub-Saharan Africa. This kingdom ruled over a significant portion of present-day Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. It was positioned on a trade route that connected the region's gold fields to ports on the Indian Ocean coast, and it was particularly rich in cattle and precious metals. Other powerful Bantu kingdoms were the Kingdom of Congo, Anzaku Kingdom, Kingdom of Ndongo, the Kingdom of Matamba, the Cuba Kingdom, the Lunda Empire, the Luba Empire, Berat's Empire, Kazemi Kingdom, Mbunda Kingdom, Yake Kingdom, Kasanje Kingdom, Empire of Katara, Butoro, Banyoro, Baganda, Musoka, Rwanda, and Burundi. Eight, a substantial diaspora population. Brazil has the world's second largest black population. It is second only to Nigeria. There are approximately 100 million of them. The majority of these Afro-Brazilians are descended from Angola, a Bantu nation. Nine, the founders of the Swahili language. Swahili is the most commonly spoken language in Africa. It's a Bantu language. It is estimated that there are between 100 and 150 million speakers. It originated around 500 years ago on the Kenyan coast as a result of interactions between various Bantu tribes and Arab traders. <laughs> Ten, occupiers of the best arable land in Africa. Last but not least, the Bantu have distinguished themselves as great in agriculture, owing to their location in high-altitude areas of Africa with excellent climates. Their lands are fertile and well watered. They inhabit the slopes of Africa's tallest mountains, including Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and Mount Meru. Indeed, the Bantu were among those prosperous and developed African nations. South Africa, Kenya, and Botswana are three outstanding examples. Thank you for watching a yet another enlightening Afroartista Films video. Please remember to thumbs up this video and to subscribe. See you on the next one.
Did 